Hello friends, welcome back. Today we're going to be starting the React portion. So we're going to create a simple JSX element. Um, React is an open source view library created and maintained by Facebook. It's a great tool to render user interface of modern web applications. React uses a syntax extension of JavaScript called JSX that allows you to write HTML directly within JavaScript. This has several benefits. It lets you use the full programmatic power of JavaScript within HTML, and it helps to keep your code readable. For the most part, JSX is similar to the HTML that you have, been, that you have already learned. However, there are a few key differences that will be covered throughout these challenges. For example, because JSX is a syntactic extension of JavaScript, you can actually write JavaScript within JSX. To do this, you simply include the code you want to be treated as JavaScript with curly braces. So here they've put inside curly braces, this is treated as JavaScript code. Keep this in mind since, it, since it's used in several future challenges. However, because JSX is not valid JavaScript, JSX code must be compiled into JavaScript. The transpiler, Babel, is a popular tool for this process. For your convenience, it's already been added behind the scenes for these challenges. If you happen to write syntactically invalid Java or JSX, you will see the first test in these challenges fail. It's worth, worth noting that under the hood, the challenges are, called, are calling react.render JSX document ready by ID root. This function call is what places your JSX into the React's own lightweight representation of the DOM. React then uses snapshots of its own DOM to optimize updating only specific parts of the actual DOM. Okay, so this is just a quick overview of what JSX is and why we're using it. And um, it's going to become more familiar as we move through the lessons. So the current use uh, code uses JSX to assign a div element to the constant JSX. So here we have our constant JSX. We want to replace the div with an H1 element and add the text hello JSX in here. So we want to, um, yeah, we want to just add an H1 element. And inside of the H1 element, we're going to say hello JSX with an exclamation point. So you want to make sure you get the exclamation point. And we run the tests. Oh, this doesn't work. So I think what they actually want us to do is to remove the div because there's no reason to just have empty divs in there unless uh, something has happens with your front end thing. Okay, cool. So that's what that is. So yeah, I'm not super familiar with the way that Free Codes Camp is specifically doing that. But you can see, if you look at the code here, what they're doing is react.render, so they're saying this function, render, and then they're passing in JSX, which is this constant, this guy right here, is being passed in here, and we're adding that to the document, get, get element. I mean, the second parameter being passed in to this function, to react.dom.render, is document.getElementById root. And if we were to come over here and say um, document dot uh, get element by ID and in here we say root you'll see when we run this function it this is actually that see when I highlight this so what we're doing is we're saying react render the JSX element to this part of the code which is this div right here which is called root um, so this would actually in HTML it, we would have div ID equals root and then we close this. Oh, see, that even breaks the uh, the context because, uh, oh, that's just breaking the JSX, so that's not it. But um, we would have the close div, and that's actually what's going on in here. Uh, that's what's going on behind the scenes that you can't see, which I think is kind of uh, misleading, but uh, it makes sense for them to do that because this is an introductory level one. But anyways, keep in mind, yeah, we're rendering JSX to the root element, and that's basically how this works. Anyways, hope this uh, helps you guys um, with a little bit more context as to how this works. Uh, React's really great, so we'll see you in the next lesson.